In this video, we're going to cover how to install the Zscript syntax into Sublime Text Tree for Windows and Mac. In the description below, I'm going to leave a link to this website we are looking at at the moment so that you can download and do the manual installation. Now, in this page, you actually have uh, the instructions on how to do this on Windows and I'll show you how to do it on Mac as well. You have to go here to downloads, press this download repository, and then you'll get this folder. So if I open up this folder right now, this is what I get inside that zip file. And I'm gonna show you where you can place this to make it work. So right now, if I open up uh, Sublime Text Tree, I got uh, some Zscript going here and it's set to plain text as you can see. So on Windows if we go to preferences and press browse packages. On Mac you need to go to sublime text and it will be around on the left hand side. Sublime text. If you press sublime text you'll have a menu and you'll have preferences and you'll have browse packages. So you press browse packages on the Mac there and you should have the same thing as you have here on Windows it will take you to the packages folder. So once you have this folder open, you can open up the other tab. You can simply copy, and this will work both on Mac. So if you control click and select copy file on Mac, and here you can just right click and copy, and then you paste inside of this folder, the folder that you downloaded from the internet. And this is the it's what it was inside the zip file. So notice I am inside of the zip file here. This is not the zip file. Okay, this is what's inside the zip file. If I open it, you can see it's exactly what you had downloaded from the internet. So once you've done this, you can go to the Sublime Text, close that, and reopen Sublime Text. On Mac, you have to quit Sublime Text and then reopen. Once you've done that, if you go here to this plain text and you click it, you'll notice that at the bottom of the list, you should have Zscript now. Now, this doesn't pop up in my recording area, but you'll see that happening there. One last step, if we go into Preferences, Package Settings, and then go into Package Control, and go into Settings, User. This will open up a new file. And on Mac is the same thing. Uh, the only difference is that you choose Sublime Text and then you have uh, preferences in there. So once you open this file up, uh, you can just copy this code here. And if I go back to, go back here. And you can then paste this code here and make sure you use a comma after so this is the code you need to paste inside this file. Then you save. I'm just going to control S this and you can close that. Once you've done that, just restart Sublime Text just in case. And now if you want all text files to open as this script, you can go to view and this is the same for Mac and Windows. Go to view, syntax and it doesn't show up in my screen but if you go all up all the way up to the first option you should find something called open all with current extension and then that will pop up a new list and at the bottom of the list you should have zscript you might need to press the arrow and that will bring zscript okay so now all text files will be opened with the zscript syntax both on mac and windows and you'll also have your autofill so if i say i I button and I press my tab key this works in Windows and Mac you'll get all the information like I showed you in the other video okay so that's how you manually install Zscript syntax into Sublime Text for Windows and Mac I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe check out my Gumroad check out my Facebook page and I'll see you in the next video